Hi, this is Phoenix Genesis for PhoenixGenesis.com and our two YouTube channels, Phoenix Genesis and Frag Camp. I'm playing Minecraft on PlayStation 4 and my Phoenix Genesis Survival World with a Natural Texture Pack. And this is my new Ranger Station, all made with um, the Acacia and Dark Oak wood and some of the new um, materials, the sea lanterns, and also uh, some of the new flowers. And I want to show you, I'll, I'm going to sleep and show it to you in the day as well, but this is the nighttime view. Uh, this is really cool, like this hidden lighting. So basically, um, if you take any type of uh, half slab and you put some uh, glowstone or torches, or you could put sea lanterns and pumpkin, jack-o'-lantern, anything that lights up underneath it, uh, what you get is uh, it'll come through and you'll get this beautiful uh, hidden lighting. And it's just very subtle. It's not like in-your-face lighting, and you can supplement it like with the half slabs here I threw these sea lanterns down but I like this a little purple carpeting here and this green walkway but it just really looks beautiful at night this is the uh, ranger station in my um, Bryce National Park I'm building right here in my world we've got a little pods oil here we've got sheep pens and um, I just want to show you the lighting and then we'll like take a deeper look um this is double because i it didn't fit to have the grass look kind of nasty right here see you know like that so i just kind of went like that and um i left the space and half slab there so you get light here but not as much as the other one but it still it still lights it up sufficiently and then um see i'm building uh my bryce park here and we'll take a look at that. That's kind of, um, we'll look at it and, and kind of take a glimpse at night. And we'll look at it during the day. And again, here we go here. And let's go in and uh, sleep and look at the, the uh, building itself. So we're going to sleep right now. And Happy New Year. I hope everybody's had a great, uh, it's 2016 now. It's very exciting. I hope everybody had a great 2015. It was very productive for me. I uh, hit a lot of milestones. I'm really looking forward to see how far I can challenge myself in 2016 and what kind of things I can create in Minecraft. So back to here. This is Arizona, my dog. And again, the collars are orange. You could dye it any color you want. I might dye them purple to pick up with the carpeting. Um, here's a basic chest. Um, now this is the, uh, let's look here. It says uh, Bryce Park Ranger Station designed by Phoenix Genesis. And uh, again, I put the uh, coordinates. You're here, Custom Mesa. And um, I wanted to start using the new materials. So this is dark oak up here. And this is uh, Casia wood here. And this is uh, the dark oak doors. And uh, we got the little um, dark oak sapling here, jukebox. And this is, I want to have just the essentials. You can put it in a nice, tight, economical package. You don't need to um, build a big house. And, and um, you can still have everything at your fingertips, like jukebox, plants, uh, you know, our... Um, Essential Ender Chest, you know, a low-level enchantment. I think it goes up to level 8. Uh, a cauldron, and you got your brewing stand, and I've got the uh, awkward potions always ready to go with no effect, so I can slap something else in there and brew whatever I want. I light underneath the cauldron with the sea lantern. We've got a crafting table. Of course, it's all hidden lighting under the carpet. We, uh, I also wanted to work with the new chiseled stone. And here we've got double furnaces, which are full of coal, ready to go here. And again, we have the blue orchid plant, and we've got the double bed. And, um, and one of my favorites, a painting, of course, and then the armor stand. And the armor stand is really cool. Um, so what you can do is you just uh, L2, and you can take um, all the armor down. And we can check out what I have here. Um, here we go. So if we go like this, um, hit triangle, we can see I have a diamond helmet with projectile projection 4, aqua infinity 1. We have a protection 1 uh, diamond chest plate. We have some iron leggings, pro leggings protection 2, and um, protection 1 diamond boots. So not the uh, most fancy pants armor, but uh, it'll suffice for just my digging down in the mine, which goes to the next thing I wanted to show you is... No house is complete without a mine, so we're not going to go um, tra traipsing around through the whole thing. But, you know, just something simple, just left it the way it was. Um, slap some uh, glowstone down there to keep it well lit. And at the very bottom of the mine, these are, I have several of these mining operation houses. You always want to, when I'm not in peaceful survival, I, um, 
when I'm in normal uh, survival, I always want to have a door so I don't get any nasty surprises when I get down to the bottom. Again, well lit, and you just have the basics down here so you don't have to run back and forth, which is your your um, crafting table, your furnace, and a chest. And if I go this way, and of course this is all sealed and protected, I should put a bed right there. That's what I forgot. I need to bring the bed down. And if I kind of go in this direction, always torches on the right so I can find my way back. And um, I'm going to go around here, and eventually I'm going to hit down to the mine. Yeah, there we go. And there's a nice abandoned mine that gives me um, cobwebs, which, uh, by the way, with the silk touch shears, I was able to uh, make uh, chimney smoke, which was really fun. I've always seen people do that, and I never uh, did that before because I didn't have the silk touch shears, which, by the way, take forever to get. But finally, I got them, so um, that's great. And I also got a couple diamonds and a chest. I was really excited about that. There's rail I still need to go pilfer. You get a lot of oak wood, which is very useful for all kinds of things. If you don't want to build with it, because you have the uh, the better wood now, you can um, still use the oak to make um, sticks, to make weapons and fencing and um, all kinds of great stuff. So that is that. That's our mine. And then, um, again, you don't even have to have stairs for the upstairs, since this is just a little attic. I just have ladder and you know um glowstone and that's what i uh, not glowstone sorry sea lantern same difference and what i did too with this house is i ran that sea lantern all the way around and then i put slabs out and it gives it just a little sliver on the outside and inside and it just gives it some nice lighting so i don't have to slap a bunch of ugly torches in here and i kind of like the way that looks and again you want to be very um carefully labeled with everything so just some colored clay because i'm building the mesa the some wool, more hardened clay, some tools and weapons, some food, some ruining enchanting materials, mine carts, uh, rail, redstone, and some couple ores that I might find down in my mine, sand, glass, stone, and uh, lighting, uh, pots, wood, flower, and plants, and that's it. So just some, kind of some essentials that I need. Uh, and again, this is stuff maybe like a bucket I might need if I'm going to run out real quick. I don't have to go back and forth. Um, more music CDs for the jukebox, but I only have those two and they're outside right now. And uh, last but not least, I wanted to show you... Um, over here see that we have a couple sheep different colors i have more in the other um you know in the barn but i just want to have a little sheep pen and i continued the same colors and the same patterns so again the uh sea lanterns with the uh, acacia and the dark oak and the new plants and also um you know we have the acacia here and then we have the dark oak here this is like a little chicken coop there yeah you just laid a, hi baby you laid an egg eventually i'll name everybody with name tags and i just continued this fencing design all the way around um i just think i don't know it's simple yet it i don't know it's kind of something different and see oh yeah there's the uh, cobwebs where i made the chimney and you can see how like again i slivered that that lighting around it, it's kind of subtle and also, uh, nothing's complete without more nether wart and also um, those anvils. Those were kind of the last things. But this is everything you would need in a house. And again, just some simple designs, some slabs and stairs, upside down stairs, giving it a little trim and um, not nothing too fancy pants. Um, and this is uh, soul sand. So when I sail with my boat, it's supposed to make my boat not break apart, but it broke apart anyway. And this is a little like kiddie pool to play in. And the, um, my Bryce Mesa Park uh, casea tree I planted, some more of the new flowers. And this is just uh, dyed clay because again, I'm in a um, swamp biome. So if I can't find any mesa, which I haven't yet in this world, might as well bring the mesa to you. It's Minecraft. Instead of going out and doing to the, you know, having Having the world do to you you uh do to the world you bring it to you and this is kind of um i like these two these are going to be my gateway here and then i'm gonna um make some larger spikes here and i just kind of went and studied um you know other mesa uh seeds so i could uh, photograph them so i could see how to kind of generate this and also i'm going to make some big plateaus out here and i'll be able just to dig up all the clay and use it as i expand the only um problem with this is yes it does rain in this uh <laughs> area because it is a swamp but uh, i don't care because i really love how the nice green grass kind of looks nice and i'm just going to kind of integrate that too. probably put some brown clay mixed with the grass i think that'll look really nice and i'm going to of course layer 
did this with elevations. But anyway, that's what I'm working on uh, now. And I'll, it'll probably be one of those things where I ferment on it, where I'll stop for a while, like I did with my temple, and like build something new and then come back when I feel a little bit more inspired. Um, you don't have to do anything um, all at once. You can kind of build it in piecemeal and take your time with it. But uh, next time I come here, I will try to get that barn done so I can show you that tomorrow. And again, this video was a little long, but I hope you enjoyed all this. And it's Phoenix Genesis signing.